Yes, so hello everybody. Good evening everybody. Uh, thank you very much for coming uh, to today's webinar. And today we are going to talk about a revolutionary new technology which is called Skyway and we'll uh, concentrate on the main aspects and then topics why it's important this technology what does it change uh, and why it will be um, used in many places all around the world and then of course a little bit about the latest news as well but we are not concentrating today on the news themselves but more on the technology but I urge you to uh, everybody to go to your back office and then read the latest news from there as well because it is constantly being fulfilled with new awesome news for example like uh, businessmen businessmen from india and united arab emirates uh, uh, visited our techno park lately uh, also there is a brief interview with anatoly nitsky the latest one um, and then the latest um, achievements in Sarcha Innovation Center as well, where we have our second uh, World Demonstration and Certification Center in the world. So what's going on there, you also can read perfectly and clearly from, from the news section in our back offices. So I urge you to do that, but uh, today, as I mentioned, we will concentrate on the transportation technology itself. So my name is Michael and I'm from Tartu from Estonia and I've been uh, uh, an Skyway investor and the promoter of this technology as well as um, the webinar contactor for uh, more than four years by now and, and I'm very proud to do here and help uh, the um, well the Skyway uh, Skyward community team and also to promote this awesome technology i myself a little bit more about uh, myself and then what what i have done since i met or since i well got familiar with with the skyway technology first of all i have been both of these demonstration and certification centers so both in belarus near minsk uh, in marina korka where is the first one and that one is called uh, uh, innovation sorry uh, Sky Eco Techno Park. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry about the delay. Eco Techno Park. So I, I was there in 2019 and I got the chance to ride with the Unibus uh, up high, 50 meters up high from the ground, as well as, uh, as uh, well, two different tracks. Also, I have managed to go to Saja, United Arab Emirates, where I saw the f the construction of the first track but now we all know that uh, it's already uh, fully con conducted and we have also certified our first model there as well the tropical unicar both the track structure and the model itself has been certified we have received also iso certifications um for for multiple different categories for like safety of the work environment and and uh, and many other categories all those are possible to find in our back offices as well but yes so that's cool so i have the chance to go um, and even twice in united arab emirates so i have seen it with my own eyes i have i have tested it i have ride with it myself so it is awesome it's silent it's quiet it's very smooth and then when it's completely ready it, it will be awesome because it has all these 360 degrees cameras to to constantly get information from the surrounding as well as interior uh, cameras so when we are crossing borders we can show our passports or or whatever tickets for example and so on so it is awesome but let me tell you more about it so first let's go back into the history and uh, about 100 years ago a artist and visionary pictured our future in 100 years so it should be the present moment that the, uh, what what uh, he described on this picture but of course today we know we have some technologies but we have not yet built such a network 
second level network like we have here on the first ground floor with the asphalt roads or with train train uh, rails as well but let's see what we have oh yeah this is skyway first just to show you this is the 21st century uh, century technology yes so but uh, this one here on the right side is monorail also one of the one of the many popular Mm, one of the many popular uh, technologies or, or known technologies but it's not so much used around the world um, the string transport is more used but I will get to that but but monorail has maybe the features which are quite similar to Skyway or, or at least more similar than well trains and, and other technologies because uh, monorail also has this quite high average speeds Mm, or maximum speed, sorry, about 80, uh, 80 kilometers per hour, but it has some um, uh, difficulties or problems as well when we compare it with, with Skyway. Here it is, the comparison slide. So yes, the track length is limited, that's uh, good to understand, or it's better to understand that Skyway has unlimited track structures, so there is even an, a project called Transnet, which is uh, also made by the author of uh, UNESCO String Transport, Dr. Anatoly Unitsky, who is the creator of Skyway technology. And then the, this transnet basically covers the continents or, or many continents and then connects, for example, like we can come from one part of the world and go to the other part of the world with our high speed unibuses, which go up to 500 kilometers per hour, for example. And then well, there are many, many positive aspects with Skyway tracks as well, because first of all, one, we can ride on the track structure and then in parallel, we can ride beneath the track structure as well. Of course, not on this this slide that, that describes the track structure with high, where it's only possible to use one model uh, per time. Mm, but I will show you different track structures as well, so we're very flexible. Maximum speeds, yes, inside the city we have 150 kilometers per hour. So basically, this model, what you see on the slide on the left side, that one goes up to 150 kilometers per hour, but we have a special model as well. Mm, well, it's developed, but the track structure itself is not fully completed because it needs about uh, 20 to 30 kilometers uh, long track structure so it could accelerate, uh, hold its speed, and then break down the speed as well so therefore but 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 in inside uh, inside room the, in laboratory basically the, the speeds have been tested the 500 kilometers per hour and so on so all these machines will be tested first in facilities and then uh, they're going outside on demonstration certification centers or, or parks basically but yeah another great aspect with skyway to know is that we have fully autonomous uh, systems so we do not have or we do not need any any driver who, who would be there like with tramways or with buses we have or with monorail for example so that that's that's also great so it will be long distance uh, rem remotely controlled basically and traffic interval uh, why this uh, so low low uh, 20 to 50 uh, seconds it's mainly because um, it's mainly because the capability of one model to come to the station then leave and then the another model uh, to leave uh, to follow basically the first one is minimum is three seconds so after each three seconds one model can go go next one next one but we have to well, the timing itself depends mostly on the people who will get on board or get off the board. So how much time they need, that's that what uh, what makes makes the time uh, or the or the well the interval uh, time length. Uh, yes. Yeah, I hope I got that last sentence to you as well. So, but since we we are capable. Uh, in such a short traffic interval uh, and servicing um, well after after such a short time then we are capable also to take a lot of people from one point to another in the same 
time frame that, for example, monorail does, or tramway, or trolley buses, or, or, or well, the regular buses. And, the, and here you can see on the slide also the passengers per day. And so, therefore, the, the, the flow can be very high. Right, let's move on. Yes, metro stations, subways. So most of the um, most of the developed countries have also underground systems, but as we know, the problems still occur all around the world. The traffic jams, uh, number well, the number of cars in the traffic's rise and so on. So we need constantly new, or there are new challenges constantly rising. So we need new solutions, and Skyway can solve a big big problem. Because first of all, it can be very safe when you go to up to the second level because there will be no collisions to the first level infrastructure. So with cars, with buses, with people, with bikes, bicycles or so on. Bicyclists, for example. Yes, so the, the, the last previous, previous slide was made in uh, Germany. This one now is made in China. So both of those countries use also second level uh, transportation systems, but those are all expensive, their supports are very close to each other, so it doesn't make it very beautiful, the surrounding or the eyesight. And also here you can see um, this the, on this slide, this is basically a tramway, just upside down. By the technology parts, it doesn't very, very much, well, difference from, from the tramway. All right, here you can see the string transport I was telling you before. Um, Mm, and then this is one of the most popular that is in use today and it's constantly being built all around the world mostly in touristic places for example like Phuoc Island in Vietnam or um, in Vietnam sorry, or, or from, for example in Romania in Constanta they have then in Turkey in Atlanta they have I know in the United States in Moscow they have one and so on so and even in Estonia, I know a few, few um, well, um, uh, there are some, some uh, active members of society who, who wants to integrate this system. But of course, as you already understand, or maybe you saw it, even though it's very high, it looks quite nice. It has one, one big minus, and that is that there's models or these cabins in which are people and goods, those stay exactly on the same spot all the time and the string itself moves. So this orange wheel here on the right side on this slide, that one basically describes the engine which pulls the string and well, like in ski resorts, exactly the same mechanism. Uh, it pulls the strings and therefore the cabins move so but with skyway we have our own motor wheels we have the track structure that stays itself at the same place and we have moving vehicles on it and beneath it yeah here it is again this is the well the mono string uh, this is my favorite, absolutely favorite, because this supports can be after each 400 meters, for example. So there is a lot of space between these two supports. Well, the supports basically are these two posts on which the track structure is, which hold the track structure above. But this is my favorite one because this is the light one and it doesn't catch so much eyesight. So it's just like something ooh, goes uh, in the air. Yeah, so welcome to the new age. Now let's see more about the technological aspects of the, the Skyway technology. Yes, and this is the main question. And here you can see, I think this is the first slide, you can see the track structure I described before, where basically we can go up on the track and that can, one can be the high speed universe, for example, which goes up to 500 kilometers per hour. And it's like an express line. It goes from one point to another point very fast without many stops and beneath it it can be like the um, the slower one the 150 kilometers per hour but, and it takes for example many stops as well on the road because when we have many stops we anyway cannot go so on so high uh, levels of speed 
it's going to be constant need to stop and accelerate and, and it's just not physically possible to do it comfortably at least all right let's see what we have here yeah first point is innovative so sky is is absolutely has been well pushed to maximum level of innovation it's just look at the ulterior of it it's just so fabulous and this exactly the same model and the track structure is already built in united arab emirates so that's that's uh, that's very great news yeah so innovation is absolutely the first point so the second uh, point we need to hmm, well it's good to understand is that we have our own motor wheels as i mentioned to you before the string transport which is also popular around the world it has these engines in front or in the end of the track structure which basically pull the strings and the and the cabins are attached or sued to the strings itself so the cabins don't move on the strings but the string moves but here we have this motor wheels and the derailment system so basically we, our own machines unibuses unicars they move on the track structure and on the same time if for example if we just just picture it we we put it uh, upside down the model it still cliffs or hangs to the track structure very very strongly because uh, because of this the same derail derailment system there was even an accident some years ago in the beginning of, of the um, construction of eco techno park i think it was the first or the second year into the construction time when one tractor uh, drove in front of the track and uh, at the same time the testing was uh, well testing was taking place there so the unibus rode back and forth and the tractor uh, tractorist didn't uh, see the unibus so he, he drove himself and the tractor in front of the structure the road structure or the track structure and there was an accident so the, the man in the tractor was taken to the hospital uh, fortunately he uh, he is still alive so it was very lucky accident but the cabin itself on the tractor it was totally smashed but if we look at the unibus then the unibus well it had it, it it was a little bit off shape maybe off balance but it uh, didn't fell off the, the floor didn't fell fell down basically and and we we had still chance to move uh, back and forth with the unibus so it's very strong there and then uh, thank god let's hope nothing this won't happen anymore but uh, yes anyhow this this situation happened so here it is this is our beautiful beautiful unibus and and here you can see we can even put the two well two cabins basically attached to each other so make it uh, taller longer so more people will get on board so eventually in the such uh, innovation center there will be um, uh, about three or more different track structures first one was 400 meters long and the other ones that are under construction at the moment those are 2.4 kilometers long so on those tracks uh, there will be well there will be testing uh, of, of our new uh, new model which takes much more people on board than uh, these models we have to date do so that's that's a great thing and what is more we will have a revolutionary technology tested there which is unicant so basically sea containers will be driving uh, up on the track structure beneath the track structure and then there are many many great aspects about it so so that's that's great all right
Yeah, I'm sorry about the, about the delay because somehow I had some internet connection troubles here, but but I I had well I refreshed and now I'm back. So let's move on. So about the track structure itself, as you can see on this uh, slide as well, it describes it quite well. Uh, it's basically a metal frame which is filled with a special filler, uh, concrete, special concrete. So and there are also this punch of pre-stressed strings. Mm. So it's basically it works like a bridge, and therefore that's also why we do not need so many supports uh, or, or supports in such a short distances um, like we saw on previous slides with other transportation technologies because this bridge it holds itself already up so we can even with the lighter technologies those uh, supports can be even after more than one kilometer from each other so that's that's great as well and what is more we can take for example uh, electricity um, through these special tubes which can be also uh, put put it inside this uh, um, inside this metal frame uh, track structure so we can take through those uh, tubes we can take electricity for example ethernet and so on very good for african people for example where many many villages uh, do not have a, a constant electricity all right let's see what we have here more yeah this is the sky echo fest where i was also uh, presented mass uh, and and that model there the unicar up high about 15 meters up high from the ground well i got the chance to ride with that one too so whenever we have another echo fest coming in the future let it be in uh, near minsk or in united arab emirates then I definitely recommend you all to go there and then see that with your own eyes, feel it, get the energy, get the vibes, so, because that's the future and that's what's coming uh, and it's great to be part of it and we have a chance today, as you know, to become an investor as well, but all that information is possible to find in your back office, so that's why I urge you to go there constantly as well, both to read new news, also to go through different documents to get more understanding what what is what is this technology all about and of course uh, to get to know the investment packages or our possibilities as well so the second point is about ecology e ecology and uh, and of course it's very ecological as you can see the pictures is also more than thousand words it suits very well into the surrounding it doesn't have any co2 direct emissions so it goes uh, or runs or, or, or the energy source is electricity 100 percent electricity and, and it can even have its own solar panels or wind turbines attached to these track structures um, or the models themselves so you constantly um, get new energy uh, to to support the system and if there are any leftovers for example of this energy we can also give that through the same system i described you before these tubes inside the track structure and the electricity wires we can well basically get them through there so we can even bring electricity to the surroundings as well surrounding villages for example and then so on which can be a huge benefit in many of the many parts of the world so here you can see yeah, the the old age so to say the the last century technologies and then this well at least in europe the governments are highly focused on banning all the well the the cars for example and the uh, technologies that well make these emissions co2 emissions but of course uh, there's a long road to there but but uh, skyway is one of the leaders in uh, well it's it, skyway is leader in its own field on the second level transportation system field but also overall because it, it, it it's like basically like tesla similar to tesla which also makes electrical cars and is one step ahead of the different car makers well at least was but uh, but skyway still has this um, distance 
between him and uh, maybe maybe the competitors but but i myself personally have seen no competitor to skyway because all those technologies lack many of these great aspects many of these great seven aspects that i'm telling you today yep oh yes so here the, is one slide <laughs> and then the, basically these men there with the hats they are called pushers and they are specially hired by the government to push last people on the subways and on the trains because those are so fooled so imagine you getting on uh, in the first half and you want to exit the exit the train or exit the subway in the next station so it's basically impossible because it's so stuffed there it's it's crazy and then if, if you have not experienced it or seen it with your own eyes uh, many of us just don't believe it or don't understand it but that's that's the reality in many countries and this is uh, well especially well this is um, this picture is made in japan yes all right yeah here here we we can we can see well the mm, what happens when we uh, well when all the people who have driving driving license own a car and what happens in time when the population grows and the comfort uh, comfort level grows and then people will have more and more money the, the older cars get more cheaper so there is a um, possibility to basically for every person to get themselves a car and that causes many challenges because well if you think about the bigger cities and inside the cities then it's impossible to construct new roads at least inside the city centers because we just, just cannot tear down the old houses or the buildings to construct new roads so therefore we need a solution and the greatest solution at the moment we have is to go on the second level and we solve many 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 different challenges with that all right yeah another one why it, uh, why our technology is ecological is that the wind resistance level is very low and to well it's mainly due to the two factors one is the shape of the body which is so uh, so perfectly shaped that it cuts wind and the other another one another aspect is that uh, there is no screen effect with our technology for example with cars we have asphalt beneath the car so when we drive then the wind has this resistance beneath the car with asphalt but with skyway there is just uh, rails and the wind can go perfectly beneath the well the track structure beneath the rails so there is no obstacles so to say so that's why about 10 times less is the res wind resistance than with the cars and all these different kind of problems we can have or with, with, which occur on the first level which need maintenance and massive amount of resources to clean it and to hold it hold it perfectly shaped yeah and here it is look at it it's so beautiful it's just brilliant yeah unibuses unicars you name it hmm. and then uh, well those uh, these are of course mm, still um, well 3d animations made with computer these slides but these slides as we know from the history will become reality and on the left side that track has already become reality 400 meters of that track with different supports we already uh, have built in Sarcha and three other tracks are under construction which also will become well and those will even will become uh, 2.4 kilometers long and uh, different types of transport and for well one track is mainly for the heavy load uh, models as well so it's going to be awesome the future and then to see this all with our own eyes and to be in this development process ourselves in so close all right um, then when we construct today for new roads for trains so railways then uh, well where is where it's more um, well the ground is more flat 
like in Estonia here and in many of these European places, Baltic states mainly, we do not have mountains or, 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 or different or, or difficult landscapes. But then we need to basically clear the path the whole way, for example, 200 kilometers. We need to cut down the forests, uh, take down the houses. And then we need to dig about seven meters below the ground to fill the track structure, this seven meters, uh, with special filler. And, and then we can build the track uh, above it because then the track will hold its structure for a long time. And then, the, then we need the asphalted uh, road, security road, on one side of the rail rail track, and then then there will be fences as well to to make it um, possible that animals do not come in front of the in front of the well train. So enormous amount of resources, and there is one similar project in Estonia, for example, that's going on. It's called Rail Baltic. And it's said and calculated that my generation and I think it was three or four generations next to my generation or our generation basically uh, will all pay this uh, back, this uh, loan that will be taken for to, to construct this track structure. And, and even then it's not uh, well known that it will be paid fully. So it's, it, it's just... It's about 10, 10, 15 times more than, than Skyway transportation technology. Yeah, all right. Here it is. So today we covered two main topics about the seven reasons. And then uh, next time we'll the, cover all the, other, all the other topics as well. And I hope this, sorry, yeah, and the next uh, webinar will take place exactly in two weeks uh, at the same time. So stay tuned and we'll, well, we talk again about the first part of our uh, today's presentation and we'll continue from the third point. So four other points there will there is uh, more to cover and to tell you more about and then maybe in about a month we will cover all the main and bigger news that uh, Skyward community has released and that's note, uh, noted to or reasonable to cover by myself and, and uh, tell you about shortly to you as well. But all right, uh, that one was yes, Anatoly Niski with Talai Lama, Talai Lama also gave his blessings to Skyway and said that uh, it will be difficult this path you have chosen, Dr. Anatoly Niski, but eventually you will succeed. So next webinar in English is going to take place exactly in two weeks. So stay tuned, see you there and thank you all for coming. Bye-bye.